Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my Canada's Drag Race Season 3 Episode 7 Runway Dystopian Drag. So watch me go from this to this. So today's makeup tutorial is gonna be a little less complicated because I'm wearing a full latex face mask. So I only have to paint my eyes and my mouth area. I'm gonna talk a bit about the process of how this outfit was constructed and all came to life. First, I'm gonna start off by blocking my brows using a glue stick. So I'm going to coat my brow hairs. I'm gonna go against the grain and fully cover those hairs. Next, I'm gonna take a spoolie and brush those hairs flat. Now to speed up the drying process, I'm gonna use a blow dryer on a cool setting and dry my brows. Now I'm gonna take a powder puff and some powder and set my brows. I'm really gonna push in the powder into my brows to fully block my brows. Now I'm gonna brush off that excess powder and repeat those steps until my brows are fully covered. So I've already pre-mixed a few different shades to get the perfect color match for my latex mask. So I'm gonna start off by using a dense, flat concealer brush, and I'm gonna take this cream product and start buffing it into my skin. So, this week's runway theme was dystopian drag, which is pretty much like a post-apocalyptic future where, you know, drag queens have survived. I wanted to do something different, like show a different side of myself, so I wanted to go on more like the darker, spooky side. So I wanted to show a future where that's been affected by climate change and the world is flooded and there was a giant nuclear disaster and we all mutated into these underwater sea creatures. My look was designed by E6000 and it was constructed by Kink Engineering, which is this latex company here in Toronto and they custom made my full latex bodysuit. And Helena Poison, who is an incredible drag artist here in Toronto, she customized the latex suit and completely airbrushed it and did all the details. Like, she really did an incredible job. Uh, both of them did an amazing job on this outfit, one of my favorite looks. I had to go in for a few fittings to make sure that the latex bodysuit fit correctly because latex is really hard to work with and it needs to be tight on the skin, otherwise it, it just like looks saggy. This week we had our Rusical Squirrels Trip. The Rusical. Um, I had so much fun. I love musicals and I got the character that I wanted. I got to play Ronnie. I was like, this girl is me. The character description said she was bitchy, she was a gaslighter, and I was like, girl, that's me, sign me up. I'm Ronnie. And I had a lot of fun. Oh my God, girl, I'm looking crazy right now. This episode was a lot of fun to film. I've done musicals before, so nothing that was too challenging. And I really enjoyed my runway. It was a great week for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now with a black gel liner. I'm just gonna cover my lids. I wanna make my eyes look very dark and sunken in and dead. I'm gonna cover my nostrils because the mask shows my nostrils a bit, so I wanna make them look darker and longer. It'll connect with the full look at the end. So for my lips, I wanna look very dead and corpse-like, so I'm just gonna take a very light foundation shade. I'm just gonna cover my lips with them. So I've laid down my base now with all my shades and now I'm gonna go in with my powder and set all my makeup before I go in with more details. 
I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow now and a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to smoke out this dark eye. I'm gonna take an angled brush and my gel liner, and I'm going to create little cracks and marks on my lips to make it look like I'm decaying. So I'm gonna use a thinner angled brush to get the details. And now using a spoolie and my light foundation shade, I'm going to just grab a bit of product on the tip and I'm gonna stipple little spots and marks on my skin. You just wanna be like really messy with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You wanna look like your corpse. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and some green eyeshadow shades, very cool toned greens. And I'm going to buff that into the skin as well. Just to help set the makeup and also color match it better to my mask. I'm gonna take a little spoolie again and I'm gonna get some red cream product and I'm gonna stipple that into the skin as well just to add some more detail and dimension. So this is pretty much all the makeup that I need for now since I'm gonna be putting the mask on. So I'm gonna go put in my lashes, my contacts, and my scary teeth. And once I have my completed look, I'll be back in just a second. tuning into this tutorial for my dystopian drag runway and thank you to Ripley's Aquarium of Canada for letting us use this gorgeous venue. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Stay fierce!